So let's get vital signs on him, get a blood pressure. Hey Don, can you squeeze my hands real hard? Jane is going to start an IV in your left arm here, okay? Yeah. Has he had a CAT scan yet? He has. He has a CAT scan. Okay. Good, good. When it comes to stroke, time is critical. Within minutes, there's permanent damage to a patient's brain. For every minute the brain is deprived of oxygen, two million brain cells die. Telestroke is the opportunity for stroke experts to provide care to patients at the point which they present, so they don't have to be transferred up to Portland to get that care. Telestroke transports us into the emergency room to take care of those patients in remote facilities. Hi Don, this is Dr. Okan. Hi Dr. Okan. He's got right-sided weakness, a right-sided facial droop. He's got some expressive aphasia. So this way we can have the total visual presence of the physician we're talking to in Portland be right here with us and really help the help us make decisions that can be critical to the care of the patient. This gizmo is our stroke uh, robot. Hey, Dr. Okan, this is Don. He's one of our employees at the hospital, and he developed stroke-like symptoms about an hour ago on his right side of his body. Okay, Don, I'm going to ask you to do a few things now. Can I have you open your eyes real wide? Real wide. Give me a big grin now. Can you put your arms up for me? Hold them up like you're holding up a platter. Hold them up there. Can you get that right arm up? All right. OK. By transporting us essentially into the room of patients, we can see them, examine them, talk to their family members, talk to the providers, and work with their providers, look at their CT scans as if we were there providing care to them, saving hours of brain damage. Providence Telestroke Network. Miles away and by your side, our stroke specialists are with you when every minute counts. With locations throughout the Pacific Northwest, Providence Telestroke Network brings stroke expertise to communities where it's needed most. Okay, we're connected. Hi, Mom. I'm Dr. Ellen B. I'm one of the ICU doctors up at Dornbecker in Portland. Dr. Lundquist asked me to uh, join you and take a look at your child here. It sounds like he's going to need to be transported up here to Portland, but we can use this telemedicine technology so I can actually see what's going on. Telemedicine allows them to get the specialist consultation that they want in real time and it allows the consultant to see what's really happening as opposed to depending on the physician on site, assessing the patient, and then communicating that assessment over the telephone, which is a skill, we now have a camera there and can see what's happening. It helps them get the neurologist or the pediatric intensive care doctor when they need them right away. Because as, as we all know, especially in the pediatric world, we do not have adequate subspecialists um, to go throughout the entire state. We only have two pediatric intensive care units, both of them located in Portland. We only have certain subspecialists, once again, located in Portland. So this provides, um, helps with one of the crises that we have in healthcare, which is the um, distribution of limited um, personnel. And those personnel are gonna be located in the bigger cities where they have more of the population to see. So this will provide outreach programs in the future with telemedicine as it evolves from its infancy state. So we can both improve the immediate care the child gets by helping the docs on site. We can reduce costs when we don't transport patients unnecessarily. A lot of these children can be cared for in the community safely. It's just a matter of improving the comfort level on both ends of the call to know that things are being done correctly. In the acute care situation, when time is minutes, for example, with regards to stroke care, you need to have a neurologist make a decision pretty quickly as to whether or not to deliver a, a what can be a brain-saving medication called TPA. Those neurologists aren't available around the state, but they are here in Portland, and they can provide the consultation with telemedicine. I'm going to uh, watch uh, along here while the uh, doctor asks you to do a few things here. Go. OK, right. Norman, tell me your date of birth, if you could. March the 17th, 1935. Perfect. Well, I can talk with the family, which is advantage both to get additional history, but also to reassure the family of, you know, that the, the consultant, the uh, intensive care doctor is 
been in the loop early on and really knows what's happening. I can also look around the room, get a look at the monitors, uh, get a look at the x-rays, which actually can be now digitally sent as well up to our site. Um, but it allows just for a better, more intimate relationship with what's going on as opposed to the anonymity of being on a phone call. And you never really quite know what's going on when you're on the phone. Video, you see what's happening. And it can be very reassuring for the families to kind of have a visual as to where they're going. Instead of getting in the middle of a dark ambulance in the middle of the night, five hours away, um, they have a visual of where they're going. There's people waiting for them on the other end, and they repeatedly tell us how, how much that improves their, their overall stress level in a, a stressful time otherwise. We should be down there just a little bit before midnight. Um, it's an advanced practice nurse and respiratory therapist who will be in very good hands on his way back up here. Uh, they ought to be able to take you with, uh, depending, uh, I don't think there's any special concerns right now. So you'll be able to come back up with, with the, your child. RSV is a common virus right around now, um, especially for premature babies and can slow down their breathing. That's why they had to put the breathing tube in. But it looks like he's pretty stable at this point. Okay, Dr. Lundquist, anybody else here have any other questions? Mom, do you have any other questions? He'll be in good hands on the way up.